Okay, so we are back at the theater. And we are finally going to confront this guy. Question is, where is he? Because I don't see him anywhere. Do I need to explore? Oh! Okay, so this little mark signifies that he is somewhere over there. So let me just... Nuka world. Okay, so I'm not trying to go out. It did take me some time to find this place again, too. So that was just, like, a pain in the ass. Is he in backstage? Oh, look at Curry. She's so worried about me. She's so adorable. Ah, he's downstairs, upstairs, who knows. assistance. I am happy to help. Your thoughts? Please, let me see and scan as many indigenous life forms as possible. Got you, Curry. No worries. And what? Whoa! Whoa! You huh. raiders are all the same. I am not a you raider, bro. come into someone's home, steal their belongings, and kill those they care about. I'm not going to let you kill any more of my friends. This is our home, not yours. If these feral ghouls are your friends, I'd love to see who you consider your enemy. How ironic you should say something like that. Mm -hmm. We've defended this place for over 200 years. Wow. Do you think you are the first outsider I've met that's chosen to brand feral ghouls as monsters? How many of them have you needlessly slaughtered while ignorantly thinking you're doing the world a favor? Bro, listen. You've been here for 200 years? Why? We yeah, I'm curious. We worked here as entertainers until the bombs fell. The radiation may have changed us, but we decided to make this place our home. Over time, the illness took the minds of my friends. And those that we love. I am going to find a cure and fix my friends before someone like you comes along and exterminates us all. Hear me out. What if I don't want to kill you? There's no point in arguing anymore. Just leave. Perhaps I would leave. But I made a promise to keep this place safe until my Rachel finds the cure. Rachel. My beloved left this place years ago to find a cure to this disease. In return, I swore that I'd keep our people safe by defending our home. When Rachel walks back through those gates with the cure in hand, then you'll see, everyone will see, that I was right. What if she never returns? How long are you gonna wait? Yeah, how do you know she's not for dead? As long as it takes. Oh Lord. I've already watched two hundred years pass. What makes you think I can't wait two hundred more? Bro. If there is a cure, the only way she'll find it is with your help. Maybe you're right. Come on, Rachel Oswald. is still out there. I'll find her, and we'll search for this cure together. I'll gather what remains of my friends. And we'll leave this place in your care. Thank God, because I don't want to kill you. It will no longer be a burden to you and your kind. Here, you should have this. Consider it an apology for misjudging you. Wow. Sword of Wonders ignores 30% of the target's damage and energy resistance. Thank you. I appreciate this gift. Th Oswald's chop hat increases warrior's movement speed by 10%. Oh, wow. oh shit, he dipped. 
Wow. I am so happy I didn't need to kill him because I would have been so sad if I did. Obviously, this was just a whole misunderstanding. A very costly, deadly misunderstanding, in fact. Huh, what's this? Ah, oh, he turned off. Thank goodness. Let me see what is this about. It's been about 50 years since the bombs fell. We've seen some large groups come and go. Usually, we've managed to scare them off or use the radiation sprayers to get rid of them. Seems like most of the attackers are just terrified of the clown makeup. It's kind of sad. They used to bring people so much laughter. Damn, this is so depressing already. On the whole, things are good. We have plenty of food, water, and even partial power when we need it. Which I imagine is a lot more than most others have. Even the mutation from the radiation storms hasn't been that bad after we learned to cope with it. I'm glad Rachel's still alive. I think she's the only thing keeping me together. Oh my god, first of all, I really, really hope this Rachel person's alive and not dead, because if she's dead, that's it. No more reason to live, like, I feel like he would go to that extreme. I can't sleep. We've had to board up another person today. That's over 10 in the past year alone. I'm trying to keep everyone organized and keep everyone's spirits up since Kenneth, Mitchell, and Herman are gone. But there are some days I just don't want to even get out of bed. I mean, honestly, I feel you. Depression is one hell of an illness. Some have even started f talking about putting the afflicted out of their misery. But we put a stop to that talk pretty fast. We've been here a long, long time now, and these aren't just the people I survived the war with. They're our new family. We've got to find some way to help them. I admire his optimism, but I don't think there's ever going to be a cure for ferals. There was a big attack today, and Dean got hit by a stray bullet. The thought of losing another of us caused me to snap, and suddenly... It was as though energy was literally flowing from my body. Then Dean just shot up and gasped for air. I healed him. I have no idea how. After the attack, it hit me. Was this some sort of mutation, or was it real magic? I mean, given the circumstances, who could tell the difference? Even if we had a scientific explanation, does that really make it less magical? Regardless of what I want to call it, maybe I can use my powers to help the afflicted. So I guess some chemical imbalance must have triggered his feral ghoul disease. I mean, I'm glad it was proactive for his sake, but... Some big gang took out that group in Nukatown this week. The gang looks pretty aggressive, so we decided to leave them be for now. It's too bad. We had almost decided to make contact with the traitors there. But now it looks like we've missed our chance. Rachel is talking about one or both of us breaking from the group to try and find a cure somewhere else. But if the two of us leave, I don't know if there will be enough leadership to keep this place together. It's been over a year since Rachel left, and it's still no word. At home, there's nobody left. No one but me and the afflicted. And that gang of raiders next door. At first, I was wishing that Rachel had stayed behind. But I kept coming to the conclusion that she did the right thing. No matter how much it hurt, she had to leave for the good of us all. Only problem is that I don't know much... I don't know how much longer I can hold the castle. The walls are crumbling, the walls are crumbling, and I don't know how much longer I can hold them up. I miss you, Rachel. 
Bendito. It's a good thing I told him to go after her, bro. This is so sad. This is so sad indeed. Alright, let me just open this up here. And honestly, this kingdom would be better off with... Obviously not the the disciples. They're all about fucking killing everyone. The pack, maybe? There ain't. I feel like the operators would be better suited because they can make a lot of money with them, so. Speak to Gage. Alright, so I guess I'll be heading to the main... The main part of the Nuka world. Wow, this is a beautiful view. If it wasn't for the fact that this place is so bombed, I would have actually enjoyed visiting here. Alright, let me head out. The way I see it, either you wind up getting shot, or you're the one holding the gun. I know how I want it. Why can't I just be the type that wants to be loved, well, I'll bro? be damned. You actually did it. Yeah, I did. Duke of World is ours. All of it. Oh, man. Why are you acting surprised? Hey, no disrespect, boss. You've just got to understand. We ain't ever been on ground this solid before. Now that we're here, let's keep this party going. I'm thinking it's time we set our sights on the Commonwealth. Wait, what? What do you mean? Aiming pretty high, aren't you, Gage? Why stop there? Why not take over the moon while we're at it? <laughs> nah, the little green men can keep that one. Taking back Nuka World is a big friggin' deal, no question. But it can't be the end of things. Needs to be a beginning. These bunch of savages need a goal, something to focus on. If they ain't got it, they'll wind up turning on each other. And an Honestly... operation this big, we're gonna need more of, well... Everything. Nobody's gonna hand it to us. We need to take it. Commonwealth has a ton of shitty little settlements that could be put to better use. Don't you think? No, I am not doing that, but whatever. Wow, nuts. I was just starting to get cozy in my little castle. Now you're starting to sound like Coulter. You remember? The idiot whose body we recently dumped into the river? He was always content to just barely scrape by. Look where that got him. We don't gotta rush into this headlong. We take it slow. Be smart about it. If we're aiming to grab a piece of the Commonwealth, it's going to take the right contacts and a lot of muscle. Right? I say we go have ourselves a chat with Shank. He's the point man for everything entering and leaving Nuka World. He floated this idea before. Been itching to talk to you ever since you took over. So I bet he's got a good idea of where to start. He's in charge of the caravan, so odds are you can find him somewhere near the marketplace. What's he gonna do? Show him how to milk a Brahmin? Maybe. If you ask him nicely. Oh, Just boy. head over and talk to the guy. He'll back up what I'm saying about the Commonwealth. And while you're doing that... I've already got the gangs working on getting Nuka World's power plant up and running. It's about time we shed some real light around here and let people know we mean serious business. Oh, and if you want my advice, or if you want me to tag along, you've got it. The thing is, there is no way in hell I'm going to let these little fuckers try and take over the commonwealth like bro i am the leader of the minute man you really think <laughs> you really think i'm actually gonna let this shit go caps ammo salvage drugs at least some of that's gotta be hiding in here do you see what i mean this bitch is so desperate he is making himself look through dirty ass nasty bridgeport water well, waterbury water Shit, waste West Haven water by how dookie brown the water is. 
I'll be damned if I'm gonna let these savages take over the, the commonwealth like that. Like, seriously. I do not see that happening. All of these sons of bitches ain't shit. I'm only here because I was originally sent. Top. Just like it should be. Nisha seems to think you could make a difference. But for better? Or worse? Never did get why Coulter brought in three gangs to claim Nuka World. I mean, he had us. Don't need the rest. You think I actually care about your little politics? I really don't. Like, in all honesty, if there's a way for me to actually, I don't know, destroy all three gangs, I would so do it in a heartbeat. This is the Nuka Town Market. Oh, uh, hello, boss. Congratulations on taking out Coulter. I'm, uh, sure you'll do great. Why would you congratulate me? It's not like you're free to go. Well, to be honest, I, I don't know you yet, boss. Sorry I'm so nervous. I didn't mean any disrespect, boss. I just don't know where I stand with you, and I, I don't want to end up pissing you off. That, and well... I'd be lying if I said we weren't all wondering how you plan to run the place. I mean, this is your show now. You can do anything you want. You can run Nuka World just like Coulter. Business as usual, or... Or... You could... Um, well, you know... Get rid of the Raiders if you don't exactly agree with how they're running the place. Mm, keep talking. Well, I admit... I didn't like being roped into this job in the first place. Then this might be your chance to make some changes around here. Mm -hmm. The gangs that call this place home are already at each other's throats. Now, you could risk your own neck and try to keep them from tearing each other apart, or you could do the right thing and put them in the ground. And when it's all said and done, you're still running this place from your fancy house on the mountain over there. Except now, you won't have to sleep with a gun under your pillow. I like this. I really like this plan. I'd have to kill all of them? No, of course not. If you're serious about this, then you'll have to take down the leaders of the gangs. That means putting a bullet into Nisha, Mason, Mags, and Mags's brother, William. Once you do that, the gangs will collapse and Nuka Town goes back to being a free trading post. I should, uh, probably stop talking about this out here. Just keep what I said in mind. Anyway, I'm the closest thing to a doctor around here. I treat everyone, raider, traitor, or traveler alike. Got some medical supplies too, if you're looking for those. <laughs> I am loving this option doctor? already. How did you end up in this place? Yeah, well, how you get stuck in here? It's a bit of here. a story. Yeah. I used to live at a settlement west of here. We got hit by Coulter and his gang back when he had one. It was a tough fight. We killed some of theirs, they killed some of ours. They were wounded on both sides, but nobody could get to them. I called out for a ceasefire on the condition that I'd see to their injuries as well as ours. Saved a few lives that day, including Coulter's. That's when why you're alive. When he set up this place, he came back for me. Said if I came along, he'd make sure his guys wouldn't hit our settlement again. Now this place is my home. Anyway, anything I can do for you? Treatment or supplies? No, oh, girl, I'm so sorry you're stuck here, bro. Not now. Very well. Worry about me. I'll stay in line. What do you mean? Are, are these people afraid of me? That's crazy. The raiders keep talking about blood worms. I hope I never find out what those are. Yeah. Hey, it's the baddest lady in Nuka Town. What can I get for you, my friend? Not looking to buy right now. Whatever you want, boss. I mean, I know these people have been stuck here, and it's pretty sad, but this no, place honestly. really makes me want a Nuka Cola. Yeah, you I see bet. That crazy robot dressed like a bottle. Looking to chill out or get fired up? Uh, the way I got what you need. Uh... Hey there, boss. You really laid a beat down on Coulter. That was something. I guess that means his big plans for the park died with him. Big plans, huh? Did that include getting killed in his own arena? Well, of course not, boss. Back when Coulter first took over, he had big ideas. 
And he made some big promises. But he didn't His follow plan was through. To get the power plant back online and light up the whole park, making it easier to conquer and safer for all of us. We could have done it too, but things changed, slowed down. Coulter stopped pushing, stopped caring so much. Wait a minute, were you supporting Coulter? Why did he stop caring? Did something happen? Are you Some his fanboy? Some of the were guessing he got too comfortable, but I don't really know. Well, I'm just a traitor, so I know my opinion doesn't count for anything. But I still think it's a good plan. Hell, I might even give those poor bastards out in Dry Rock Gulch a fighting chance. What poor bastards are you talking about? Back when the raiders took over, some of us, the traitors who were here before, I mean, got away. Last I heard, those folks were holed up in Dry Rock Gulch. They're probably struggling. If they're alive at all. No, they're you dead. You think you'll follow through on Coulter's plan? Get the juice flowing again? You seem pretty well informed about Coulter's plans. Well, yeah. Coulter needed my input on getting the power plant running again. I'm sort of the unofficial chief handyman around here. Or as close as we've got to one. Guess you could say I've got a vested interest in the plan to get the power back on. Uh, speaking of which, do you think you'll see it through? Coulter's plan, I mean? Coulter had the right idea. I just might finish what he started. I hope you do, boss. Truth is, I've dreamed about that day more than once. Not sure why, really. Maybe I've just grown attached to the place. What with all the work I've done on it. It sounds funny, I know, but I think Nuka World is something really special. I think she deserves to have her lights shine again. And just imagine, at night you'd see it for miles around. Folk would talk about it. They'd come from all over to shop in the market. That's a lot of caps for you and the gangs. The thing is, though, I want to do that without the gangs. How long have you been here? Been about 20 years now, I guess. Damn! For better or worse, Nuka World is my home. Gotta get back to work here. See you around, boss. 20 years. 20 Found years. He's stuff been while stuck I was out here. On the road. Interested? Are you flirting with me, ma'am? I don't need anything. And then she got dumb quiet. She's like, "You fucking whore." Wasteland's a dangerous place. These collars get damn hot after a while. Yeah, I bet. I mean, at this point, I might as well just well, liberate well, everyone. Look who it is. Are you here to grace my humble market stand with your presence, oh great boss, sir? Damn right. You should thank me. It's not every day I wander out to visit the peasants. For a second there, I thought you might be making a joke. Hell, I even considered laughing. I was. But then I remembered it's not a joke at all. Damn. It's the truth I live with every day. Damn. You do all the work, then the gangs reap the rewards. Pretty sweet setup, at least for you. Yo, Aaron but I guess is it doesn't really me. matter what I think, does it? As long as I'm wearing this collar, I'm no better than a slave. Hey, it's not my fault things are like this. I just got here. Never said it was. Just figured you should know what you're getting into. <sighs> now, if you need guns or ammo, I'm the one you talk to. And before you ask, yeah, everyone pays. Even you. Not right now. All right. I can tell Aaron is up to here with this place. The guy selling the chems world. is a little off. Really? Who's selling chems? I'd bring my kids here someday, if not for all these raiders. Hey, boss. Gotta admit, it was good to see Coulter go down. He scared the hell out of me. Gave me nightmares. I'm not used to people calling me boss. I'm not planning to give anyone nightmares. Thank goodness. I'll sleep a lot better having you in charge. So, uh, what do you think? About running Nuka World, I mean. Figure it must be a pretty tough job. Keeping all these raiders in line. I didn't choose this. I was just trying not to be killed by a maniac in power armor. I guess any one of us would have done the same thing in your situation. Well, I'm sure you've got more important stuff to do than talk to me. Or were you here to pick something up? Don't need anything today. Okay. 
I feel so sorry for these people. The the guy being here for 20 Damn, years, the doctor being taken yeah, away from our hometown. This is disgusting. I definitely gotta kill these readers. Hey, just wanted to say, no hard feelings. All right. What? You're the motherfucker who brought me here. Surprised to see me alive? Hey, I may be surprised, but in a good way, all right? Just because I got you in here doesn't mean I didn't regret it. You never mentioned I was walking into a death trap. I know, and I'm sorry. But if you ever cared about anyone, you'd do the same thing. I lost my real family, and Coulter and his gangs took this place from us. Now, these traitors are all I have left. They're my family now. Every time Coulter sent me out to lure people into the gauntlet, I didn't have a choice. I had to do it, or he'd kill someone I cared about. I'm just sorry you had to get caught up in all this. Damn. Wow, he's just in an uncomfortable situation. Did you ever fail to bring someone in? Never. Couldn't afford to. Used to be me and another guy they'd send out. He thought he'd try and escape while he was out there. They found him. Made him watch as they tortured and killed two of our own. Then they sent him through the gauntlet themselves. Oh, After no. After that, the choice was obvious. Like I said, sorry you got caught up in all this. It's all right, Harvey. I understand. Good to hear, boss. Never figured I'd find myself in this situation before. I thought for sure I'd be a goner. Well, better get back to it. Wow, that's insane. Harvey, the others, like, I got, I got to free Things them. will get better. One day. Well, look who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. Gangs certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. Haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name Shank. And if you're standing here, well, I suppose Gage figured you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long it take him to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? Dude. And what makes you think I've been convinced? Well, if you aren't yet, you sure as hell should be. Why? Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains, carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth, well, I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well, all you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. I wanted to ask about your role in this. I'm listening. Which gang do you work for? Don't work for the gangs. Gage brought me in to work for the Overboss. Plan was I'd advise Coulter in his grand scheme to run roughshod over the Commonwealth. And despite Coulter's change of heart, I've kept my ear to the ground. Just in case that day ever came. I'm hoping today might finally be it. They are so greedy. So what exactly is it you do? I'll walk you through all the ins and outs of getting us established on the other side of those mountains. Claiming territory, running jobs, keeping folks loyal. Gage and Coulter also tasked me with keeping on top of the goings-on back there. So I'll provide you with guidance on the places we can hit and the places we can't. Kind of makes me your one-stop shop for causing havoc in the Commonwealth. What is it that you get out of helping me do this? I've been well taken care of up to this point. I ain't greedy. But people with my kind of talents aren't common. All I'm looking for is a continuation of the lifestyle I've become accustomed to. And the same piece of the Commonwealth pie everyone else around here has been itching to take a bite of. Well, sucks for you, bitch, because I'm gonna fuck up all your lifestyles. That was all I had. So, does that mean you're ready to begin? No. If I'm gonna do this... I don't want to hurt people. <laughs> no fun in that. Are you serious? Look, you're the overboss. 
You decide you want to sweet talk the poor sods we're going to be dealing with instead of filling them full of lead? That's up to you. But I can't change the fact that you're going to have to run some people out of their homes so we can give them to the gangs. No one said being boss was going to be easy. Now, it... you just say if this is something you're ready to move on. Let's discuss this later. Up to you, boss. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, honestly, Shank, no offense, but I'm not really into the idea of killing people or forcing them to leave their own homes. What I'm really into, though? Keep in the zoo. We all do our part. Ugh. If you ain't standing out, you ain't worth looking at. What? Are you sit by? Anyways, I'm actually more interested in the second option of killing everyone. Because I... I am not going to let these commonwealth be plagued by any of these animals. That is for sure. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.